All right, I'm thinking about having the next tournament out here, but uh, I don't know how well it's producing a bite. So to test that, I'm giving myself two hours to get to catch a limit. Two hours, it's 5.30 now. I'm gonna try to catch a limit by 7.30. And if I can catch five fish within those two hours, I'll host the next tournament here. If not, then I'll keep looking for somewhere else. Usually one of the more productive spots. And the uh, rods I'm using today are polar opposites. I got a seven foot ultralight, seven foot three heavy. <laughs> so this one's real thick and it's got a lot of backbone. This one's about as big around as a pen or a pencil. It has no backbone. The uh, real, that's a 10 size, this is a 20 size. So, I'm gonna start off with the ultralight. of uh, sludge through here. I'm not sure if I can even get any clean casts out. Mm. All right, let me give it a couple shots in here. Water's moving a little faster right here on this side, but there's a nice pool. I can actually see a couple of small bass already hanging out right here, feeding on what's flowing down from the chute. There we go, got him, got one. That counts for the challenge. First fish, one out of five. Ah, tiny little guad, but I'm gonna have to set a size limit because all the fish in this river are tiny. So for the tournament, I'm gonna have to make it uh, pretty much anything bigger than the index card that goes in the picture with it. <laughs> so. All right, I'm only about 15 minutes in and I've already got the first fish. So it might work out here, it might not. I'm gonna jump back across here real quick. Little one? Yeah. <laughs> Is that Jimmy? Oh, brother, how you doing? Doing alright? <laughs> Every time I fish the river, Jimmy shows up. <laughs> Doesn't matter what section of the river I'm on. There we go. Finally. There you go. Right when my Facebook goes off. <laughs> Another little one. 
Number two, almost halfway there. All right, I got two now. And I'm less than an hour in, almost an hour in, I got two. So, I'm gonna move down, try some better spots. There's another spot I wanna get to before, before I run out of time. All right, I'm gonna try to get up. There's a gap between this ledge and the uh, moss. So I'm gonna try to get in there and bring it this way. Here you go, Jimmy. <laughs> Number three. All right, uh, it is 6.36. I just passed the one hour mark. I've got another hour, I got till 7.30. This is really difficult to get through because I can't see where my next step is gonna be. I just fell. It wasn't very easy to get here, but this looks like the best spot so far. Come over to this corner. Lay my ultralight down and go with the Senko for now. Bit me in half too. That was the best fish of the day by far. Let's try it again. Oh, come on, take it again. Oh, come on. He bit me in half again. That's a decent sized fish right there. He swirled on it and then he came back for it and took half of it. So let me switch up to the more durable version. With the Senko, hopefully he'll go after that. Not sure if you can see down here or not, but I'm using my uh, Runkle pack, foldable pack. Let's see. There you go. These are made of a little bit different material, so they should be a little bit more durable. That's two Senkos he bit in half already. And hopefully it's close enough in color, he'll still go after it. Unless it's two different fish, which would be awesome. All right, I've already had what looked like decent fish twice already. Bite me in half. Just take the lure completely in half. Got him that time. Nope. That's not the big one I thought he was going to be. So when I set the hook, he came flying at me. But it is fish number four. Weird, oddly enough, this is one of the fish. Cause he just spit out my old Sanko. I just saw it go flying out. And I saw something else splash over there a second ago. So he might've taken both of them. That'd be funny if this is him. Just can't quite get the, the hook out just yet. Let's see over here. 
Yeah, this fish took both of my Sankos. I thought it was a big fish because of how aggressive he was. But there's one of them went flying and landed over there on one of those rocks. And then there's the tail of the other one right there. So he bit both of them in half. And this one he didn't bite in half. Off he goes that way. That was that's fish number four. So <laughs> I, after biting me in half twice, I thought he was a lot bigger. So when I tried to set the hook, I he came flying out of the water at me. So yeah, there's one Sanko right there, and there's the other one right there. So that fish, when I pulled him up out of the water, he still had both of my Sankos in his mouth. So he had three of my Sankos at one time in his mouth. And I wasn't entirely wrong about the size of that fish. He's a lot smaller than I expected him to be, but I did think he was going to be the biggest fish of the day. Said that he felt like it. I got one more fish to go. And only a little bit of time to do it in. We've got about 20 minutes and I gotta get down to that bridge. That's a bit of a walk. It's probably a five minute walk. So, see what happens. All right, uh, I can get down right over here pretty easily. Might be an okay spot. A lot of noise from the traffic, but that doesn't usually affect the fish too bad. I think they're used to it by now. All right, this is the last spot I'm gonna get to. Don't have a whole lot of time left. My rods are tangled together, of course they are. It's nice and kind of deep over here. A lot of mat on this side. Oh, come on. Oh. oh, he grabbed it, but I didn't get the hook set. Let's go down this way. I'll come back up here if I have to. Oh, come on, dude. Oh no, oh he was on there, but I missed, oh. Maybe he came back for it, I don't know what happened there. I thought I lost him because there was a big swirl and I felt the tug and then he tugged again, so maybe. He's on there now. That's number five. I got him, just in time too. I was really about to run out of time. Stop. Number five, right at the buzzer. Really glad I decided to go with the two different baits, the grub and the, the Senko, because certain places they wanted the grub, certain places they wanted the Senko, so I wouldn't have been able to do this if I hadn't brought both. Now I got the long walk back to the car. But I did it, so I guess the next tournament's gonna be here. Not entirely sure when, though, but I know the location.